Hey everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm so excited to share how to use my brand new sketch and stitch cut files. So your Cameo will draw the design and then pierce the holes for you. In order to use these cut files, you need to have a Silhouette Cameo 3 with the two tool holders. One will be for the sketching part and one will be for the cutting part. So you need to have, in addition to the Silhouette Cameo 3, Silhouette Sketch Pens, doesn't really matter which color, or I actually prefer to use the pen holder. So that's this contraption right here, and it comes with several different parts I will show you. Once you open it, I'm using the blue part that comes with it. It fits a regular pencil best, and it also has a little cap. You want to make sure not to lose the cap. So push your pencil down inside until it hits the cap, twist it until it's tight and won't move, push it all the way down, make sure it, yeah, it's pushed all the way down and tight, and then you remove the cap and it is ready to go into the tool in the Silhouette Cameo, one of the tool holders, the one on the left, which is marked with a red circle. You will also need a ratchet blade. I have it set to six. Six or seven is what you will need to set it to for these cut files. So here is the cut file I'm going to be working with, and you can see it has a red line and then the blue dots. If for some reason you accidentally move the two pieces apart, it's very essential that they are together and aligned. So open up the alignment button. It's with these vertical rectangles with a line across and you want to horizontal and vertically align them. And then you can move it anywhere you want to on the page, wherever you want your design to be, and click on send and you will see that the red line is going to sketch the design. Okay, so I'm using cardstock te textured and it's going to use a sketch pen or a pen holder. In this instance, I'm going to use the pen holder. So I'm going to click on that option. And then the second pass, it's going to cut. So that's with the blue circle, the blue tool, it's going to cut. Make sure you have the ratchet blade selected. So here's my pencil ready to go. I'm making sure to put it in the left tool with the red circle, just like how it was in the Silhouette Studio with the red circle is going to sketch. The blue circle is going to cut, so put your ratchet blade in the right tool holder. And then you want to load your paper. I'm using smooth white cardstock and load. Back in Silhouette Studio, it is ready to be cut. Everything is good to go. Again, I just want to show that the pencil is on the left, the red circle, the ratchet blade is on the right with the blue circle. So you red circle, blue circle to sketch and cut. And click send. So your machine is going to do all of the work for you. Again, it might be a little bit laggy, so just be patient. It's a complex cut file, so it's going to take a while. Put on your patience pants, as my mom likes to say. It's telling me about 18 minutes to draw and cut, but it actually took almost two hours for my machine to do this. So you can see it's drawing with the pencil first, or if you put in a silhouette sketch pen, it will do the same thing and draw it. Once it's finished drawing, it's, you don't have to unload and reload. It's just going to start cutting the little circles or the stitching holes. And almost two hours later, it is ready to go so you can Run some errands, take a nap, eat some lunch, and then come back and your design is ready to be stitched. So this is really awesome. You can see exactly where you need to stitch because the design has been drawn. If the design wasn't drawn on there, it you'd have a hard time figuring out where to stitch. So that's why I'm super excited about these cut files, sketch and stitch. Lately I've loved doing a chain link stitch for ultimate texture it really helps the stitching stand out. It's basically stitching loops together. I have other how-to process videos on my channel showing exactly how to do this chain link stitch. It's going to take a few hours to stitch this and when I say a few I mean about eight but I love how it looks. I find it relaxing and therapeutic 
and I always love the results. So you could also just do a simple back stitch, but I love this chain link stitch. Here it is up close. So I actually cut it out from the white background because I wanted to use a darker colored paper for the background so it would pop. And so I'm using my brand new collection with Pink Paisley called Horizon. It has a travel theme, which goes perfectly with this globe. And to jazz up the background a little bit, I am dropping and splashing white acrylic paint on the bottom left and top right corners. And then I sped up the drying process with a hairdryer. I'm adding a photo with a white border on the right side and it does cover up some of the stitching, but gotta add a picture somewhere and I liked it best right here. And then I'm going to add embellishments, just going to town with flowers and titles. And I'm going to fussy cut a couple of these smaller globes to go with the globe theme. And tucking in leaves and more flowers here and there, a couple globes, some sentiments, stickers. And I'm going to use different depths of adhesive to create shadows and dimensions. So whether it's a glue dot or a foam square, it's going to create lots of depth. I'm going to add my journaling down there in the bottom and that finishes up this layout. So I hope you are inspired to check out my new sketch and stitch cut files in the Silhouette store. It makes stitching on layouts, especially with inter intricate designs, so much easier. It takes the guesswork out. You know exactly where to stitch. And here is a layout in progress, so I'll be sure to share that when I'm finished. And be sure to check out my sketch and stitch cut files available in the Silhouette store. Any one of my designs can be turned into one, so if there's one that you particularly want to see, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.